Hi and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M and today I am bringing you another butterfly card and a new technique. I know I gave you a butterfly card a few weeks ago but I really wanted to use the butterfly 2 stamp from Anthony's Papercraft and I wanted to use a new technique so I thought I would make a video. So here are the tools we're going to use. We're going to use some Versamark and some blending tools as well as Distress Ink Oxide and Broken China and Worn Lipstick. I'm going to use the Anthony's Papercraft Butterflies in Butterflies 1 and 2. I do have a piece of cardstock that I'm going to go ahead and use some oxides on later. And I have a card base and I have my Strathmore white paper that I am going to be using for the butterflies. Now I do show you some WOW sparkle embossing powder. It didn't work out so we are not going to be using it in this video. I did have to change gears halfway through making this card because the powder did not turn out well, but I'm going to show you what we did instead and I think it came out really nice. So now for the technique. This is maybe not a new technique, but a new technique for me. So I went ahead and mounted my stamp onto my platform and now I'm taking the Distress Oxide in Broken China and my blending tool and I'm applying the ink onto the stamp. And I'm using the blending tool so that I have a very uneven and random order, I guess you would say, of ink. So then I go ahead and I do the same thing with the warm lipstick. And you get this really neat, almost like watercolor type effect. I mean, it's really neat in person. It's really hard to capture on the camera, but I really liked it. Another thing that you can do, and so I went ahead and put a new piece of paper in, is I spritzed that with some water, and because it is distressed oxides, it does react to water. So I spritzed that with some water and pushed that down, and that was a really neat technique too. So I saved that paper to use at a later time, but that was really fun too. So the next thing I did was I put back the distressed ink background that I made and I went ahead and used some of my powder tool and made sure that there was no static because I am going to be doing some clear embossing because the the blue didn't work out I'm going to use some clear embossing and I still wanted some color on these so I decided to use my or my regular distress ink in peacock feathers and I went ahead and I inked that up and I inked it up really well because People are saying that you're not supposed to use distress, regular distress inks with stamping, and it did pool up a little bit. So I added an extra, extra, <laughs> an extra amount, and it seemed to work okay for me. And then I went ahead and I applied my clear embossing powder, and then I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. And I think what you get is really nice. I really enjoy all that shine you get with the clear embossing powder and since I use the peacock feathers that really shines through really nicely too. So I'm really happy with the way the colors came out on this card. So now from the matte. I wanted the, um, the worn lipstick as the matte for this card and what better way to get a matching card is to use the same inks that you used on the image. So I went ahead and I took my, I'm using a four and a quarter by five and a half card base. So this is an eighth of an inch on all sides smaller. And I went ahead and I took the worn lipstick and I just did the outer edges because you're not going to see the inside. So why not waste or don't waste all of your inks. Just go ahead and ink the outside. So now it's time to assemble the card. I am going to try some tape. If you've watched any of my videos, I normally glue because I want to make sure I get this on perfect, but I thought I would take some risk today and use tape, and I actually did pretty well. I'm pr really proud of myself. So I thought, let's try it again. Let's try putting the panel onto the actual card and see how well I do with tape. So I went ahead and I added that, and I think I did well as well. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, impressed that the tape, uh, the tape method went on pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straight for me. So now this card wouldn't be complete if I didn't add some sequins. You know I love me some sequins. So I went ahead and I have two in a, like they're they're like a rose gold or a very very light pink that I thought matched this really well. And then those are in the bottom right hand corner and then in the top left hand corner I added some very light pale blue sequins. 
And so there you have it. That is the finished card. I really like the way this came out. It was really quick and easy. And I like the effect that it gave with adding the Distress Oxides to the stamps with the blending tools. So there you have it, folks. There is today's card. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to leave some comments below because I really like reading your comments. Please rate and subscribe. And until next time, see you later.